It has been bone dry for all of Ohio, including here for this past month as we continue to talk about needing rain. Yeah, we're talking agriculture and farming. They've all been dealt a blow, but so have our rivers and streams. Let's check in with meteorologist Matt Willoughby. Northwest Ohio has experienced extreme drought conditions and water scarcity all across the Maumee River. That's exactly where I am right now pretty much dried up and with no rain in the near future, this is going to continue to be a problem, not only for Northwest Ohio, but also that hydrological system right here on the Maumee. We've got low pond levels, low water, uh, low lake levels, uh, reservoir levels uh, across the state that can then eventually start impacting community water resources. Dr. Aaron Wilson, who is a state climatologist in atmospheric science at Ohio State University, has worked closely with how weather and climate is affecting hydrologic conditions across the state. Dr. Wilson explains the issue the drought is having on our waterways. The drought is creating stress on the water system, uh, you know, as far as the specific amount of water that's left available. Um, that, you know, we haven't seen any large scale water restrictions yet across the state. There's been a few communities especially in southern and, and eastern Ohio, that have gone the voluntary water restriction route. Water levels have been extremely low near Sidecut Metro Park, to where the foundation and water stain is even showing under the 23 bridge. Yeah, the faucet is shut off, right? And you're not getting rainfall. And when you're not raining in, in July and August, uh, but you're still losing that soil moisture from the and, and that moisture from the surface, then you start to decrease any of that water supply. Although this drought will continue to impact areas all across Ohio, Dr. Wilson recommends staying active and helping reduce impacts that many are dealing with. I would encourage everyone to reach out to those resources, find your location where you live, what drought level you're in, look at your neighbors, kind of become familiar with the situation we're in and just understand that we're at elevated fire risk and the need for water conservation. If rain chances improve over the next couple of weeks, Dr. Wilson states that it will take an extended amount of time and energy for rivers, streams, and agriculture to be back to normal and at full strength to recover. Reporting from Mommy, I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby for W2L 11.